Hi, my name is Tom Leach, and for my Revelation presentation, I want to talk about the relationship between generations, specifically between Generation X, my generation, and Generation Y, or the Millennial Generation. It seems that many in my generation, and those of the baby boomers, have denigrated the next generation. But is that fair or even true? One of the most pervasive accusations of the millennials is that they are entitled, wanting something for nothing and still living at home, expecting their parents to take care of them into adulthood. Another is that they want a trophy simply for showing up, which seems a lot like being entitled. In other words, they want rewards for minimal effort. Another is that they are easily distracted or sidetracked by technology. Just like in the picture in the slide, we tend to find them at the dinner table in social situations and in the classroom, busy on their phones or other personal devices instead of focusing on other people. This makes them seem aloof and uninterested in what others are saying. Another accusation is that they are job hoppers, always looking for a better deal. Finally, they're accused of wanting special privileges that we in previous generations would not have expected. But it, is that an accurate depiction of this next generation that is rapidly showing up in the workplace? I did a little research online to figure out what some of the experts in the business world had to say. These experts seem to have a more generous opinion as to the qualities of this younger generation. The six most common opinions for the millennials are that they are achievement oriented and at the same time they are team oriented. Growing up in the web age, they are very tech savvy, which gives them a huge advantage in today's workplace. But also, they, are, they value a work-life balance, unlike some of us in older generations who would sacrifice all on the altar of the all-encompassing job. However, they still are job hoppers, so they are looking for that perfect mix of workplace satisfaction, work-life balance, and pay, and they will move around until they find it. Finally. They crave attention, so it is crucial for employers or others to give feedback and notice when they do a good job. Pay just isn't enough to drive the younger generation. It seems the older generations are giving the millennials somewhat of a bad rap compared to some of the experts in the business community and other professions. Are we really unfairly judging them? And if so, why? In my research, I came across a term that I hadn't heard before, juvenoia, the cross between paranoia and juveniles. It means the fear or hostility directed by an older generation toward a younger one or toward youth culture in general. I also realized that this hostility toward younger generations is not unique to the millennials. We have all suffered through it. I remember hearing a lot on TV and in the movies about how the baby boomers were denigrated by the previous generation for listening to so-called double music, growing their hair long, and protesting the Vietnam War. This could be, this would be the baby boomer generation, that rebellious group that now bemoans the millennials. Where does this juvenile juvenile come from? From reading my text so far, one concept has resonated with me concerning, concerning juvenile. It is the term terror management theory, which postulates that humans cope with the fear of their own death by constructing worldviews to help them preserve their self-esteem. This seems to make sense to me 
because as we age past our invincible youth, we become more aware of our mortality. We feel the aches and pains more. We start taking maintenance drugs and hear about contemporaries dying of things other than car crashes and overdoses. Or we simply count the number of years we have, we're likely to have left and realize that it's less than the years we've been alive. My contention is that this realization leads us to a certain fear of death. Even if it is unconscious one, uh, which drives us to seek a way to preserve our self-esteem. The next generation is the one who will replace us as the dominant generation. They will replace us in our jobs as the largest demographic voting group and in other areas where groups determine the outcome. So we direct our hostility toward them in an effort to make us feel better about ourselves. When we look at this younger generation, we should look at them with clear eyes. If we did, we would see a group who is, by and large, more adaptable to technology and the society this technology has created. We should also not confuse age issues with generational degradation. We need to keep in mind that they are, that they are younger, less mature individuals who are the age we used to be and let and subsequently less mature many things that we may see as bad we may have also been guilty of at their age finally they are the product of our parenting this generation is the generation of our children a final point i would like to make about generations is that they are entirely made up. Just like the United States is broken up into arbitrary boundaries called states. These generations are broken up into arbitrary age groups or birth years. Maybe this satisfies our need to compartmentalize our lives into neat little boxes to put things in. So when we look at the millennials as a group, it is only arbitrary and characteristics of the group are likely to differ from the beginning to the end of that age group. I have three children, ages 29, 27, and 26, squarely in the millennial age group. All three have jobs, live on their own, and are productive members of society. When I think about them as millennials, I see more resemblance to the second list of millennial qualities than I do the first. I doubt my children are atypical from the rest of the rest of their generation, so maybe I need to give the millennials another chance.